<laughs> now then, it's time for some comedy. We're not talking about Jim Davidson or Michael Barrymore. We'll leave that load of bollocks to ITV. We don't like their sort of show, and we don't want them on this programme. But we are into two men who are the writing and performing talent behind the real McCoy. And we caught up with them at the Leeds Playhouse while they were on their tour, Gulp Fiction. <laughs> Introduce each other, you clout. I'm Eddie Nesta. As you can see, Eddie's very short, and he hasn't got much to, to, to grow towards except me. He's very jealous of me and my size, my looks and my talent, and my <laughs> charm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Robbie got started in a, uh, by accident, really. He, uh, he was in a programme called The Manageress, playing football. <laughs> and so funny was he that <laughs> he was destined for a life of comedy, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was. And Eddie got started. I went to see Eddie at the comedy store once, and he was being booed, booed. He couldn't even speak. He was being booed so much. And you know, I unselfishly got onto the stage and helped him out. Mm. And we've been together ever since. Mm. And you're still ever so unselfish, aren't mm -hmm. you? <laughs> Gulp Fiction is the fate of two brothers, two twin brothers. They have um, the same mother, but there's different fathers. And um, they've basically been in prison for seven years for something they didn't do, so they were wrongly jailed. And um, we, we follow their lives on their kind of release from prison. They go back to their old kind of stomping ground. You meet their girlfriend, their mother, one of their fathers. And we go to a pub that they used to kind of um, re regularly go to, I should imagine. Yeah. Or frequent. Frequent, yes. That would have been easier, wouldn't it? Yes, they frequent it very often. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we play all the characters, <sighs> so we're running about, and there's an equally interesting show going on behind stage um, with us getting changed into tights and knickers and all Yeah, sorts but of they things. don't see that. No. But so. it's nice to tell people about things that they don't see. <laughs> it's no. actually a kind of a musical... It, it, drama. Thriller. Horror. Uh, well, just come along yeah. and see it. It's, it's just a mad evening, actually. Eddie, what have you done for Comet Relief? Um, I've helped to support you for the last three years. That's right. So that That's you right. could go to Africa. That's right. I went to Africa. I went with um, Nick Hancock, Frank Skinner, David Baddiel, Angus Strait and Patrick Robinson, Victor Obugu, um, various other people. We went out there and we played football against mm. villages. You don't name drop at all, do you? No, I don't. I don't. But I've kind of stepped up now, you see. I'm on like the 18 okay. of, you know, the celebs. And Eddie's still down there yeah. with the bottom division. I'm in the Premier League now, yeah. see. Not your wage bracket, though. No, no, no. I didn't say nothing about the money. I was just <laughs> talking about the status. <laughs> they got beat by the Nigerian women's team. I just yeah, want to say no, that. No, no. They won't show it on Comic Relief, but they got beaten 2 0 yeah, by the Nigerian but, 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 women's but, but team. But we had to. We had to. Because, you know, you had to be seen as doing the right thing. Okay. See what I mean? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> There's no difference anymore, is there? Uh, I think there is. Tony Blair. Tony yeah. Blair. He's, he's handsome. OK. And he speaks proper. John Major's not handsome and he don't speak proper. Yeah, but he's a safe kind of guy. Who, Johnny? Yeah. He went to school in Brixton, apparently. Yeah, and his girlfriend, his first girlfriend, used to call him Rover. Now, we wonder why. <sighs> Olives. <laughs> I don't like black olives on my pizza. I hate sex. Yeah. Well, first thing in the morning I do, because you've got a kiss and I don't like that taste. <laughs> Jenny, I really do like you. I do, I do. But, and that's a big but, you've never asked me to come and work with you. That's yeah. really strange. I want to know um, what underarm you use, because we never see any sweat patches under your arm when you reach up and pull that thing down. Well done. 
Sure. <laughs> you wouldn't be drug with me, babes. <laughs> Sorry, cut that. <laughs>